Hi, this is William Steele with All in VR. I'm All in VR, are you? Now today we're gonna to talk about pretty much what is considered to be the quintessential device to pair with your Nreal light or Nreal air glasses. I have the light, which is the full AR device. I'm not gonna get the air because of, I already have the light and I spent more money on that. But what is the quintessential device? Well, we've gone through several iterations of hubs and uh, for continuous powering of the device. The first one you saw was the OWC Thunderbolt 4 dock. And the second one was the J5 Create. And they're both acceptable, but I've heard a lot of problems that people have been having with the J5 Create, with other devices and other phones. It worked fine with my Samsung Galaxy phones, but some people had issues. So I did like both of these devices. They all had their, their kind of pluses. So I did like that I had an ancillary USB-A ports and several USB-C ports that I could plug things into, but having the barrel connector where you needed to have a converter from a power bank to a barrel connector to power this, and it's got hot and it's kind of heavy, it's not the best. And of course you have the J5 Create USB 4, and that was great because again, ancillary port, you've got the USB-C ports you need for powering the device and for connecting the glasses too, and then the other end just plugs right into the phone. But people were saying they're having issues. So what else is there? Well, the one thing that everybody's been talking about is the Nubia Red Magic Gaming Dock. And I finally got one. I bought it off of Newegg, and it wasn't too bad. I think on Newegg, let's see how much shit is on Newegg. We have $50, $50.99 on Newegg. I paid a little bit less than that. I paid $47.99, which is not too bad. And we could get it on AliExpress for $30, bucks, but I didn't really want to spend $30. Well, actually, I didn't mind spending the $30. I didn't want to wait for it. I'm, I'm kind of impatient. I'm a very impatient person. But what's funny is if you go to the Red Magic site, you don't even see it on their site anymore. So I don't really know where they're getting stock because of these don't seem to be showing up to actually directly order from uh, Red Magic or Nubia or whoever the company is. So let's uh, just do a quick unboxing of our device. So we have the Red Magic Gaming Dock. It comes in a little box. It's not too heavy. And I think we've got a little, yeah, we got to take this little piece of plastic off. So, yep. all right, so that little seal. I'll just put that out of the way for now. And let's you just pull it out. There we go. All right. So much, much different than something like even this. It's, it's smaller considerably. And let's pull it out here. And it seems to come with a few things. Well, it doesn't come with much. It just comes with this. And I guess this, I'm assuming, is a sticky pad that goes on like this. And I guess that's just to cushion it when it goes in the phone, I guess. So, meh, that's fine, whatever. I probably won't use that for now. Let's take this twisty tie off. And there you go, very simple. Uh, we've got our ports here. We've got one that says, a oh, one for power you can tell, right? So one is for power and then the other is for connectivity. So there we go. So the question is, how is this gonna work? Let me take the plastic off. I know some of you guys love to leave your plastic on, but I'm gonna keep this. I'm not sending it back. So there we go, simple. It would be nice if there were more devices like this. I'm really curious what's inside it. I really have no idea what's inside it, but that would be really cool to know what we have inside this device. So we're going to now go and connect these to our glasses. So let's go back to our regular camera here and let's get our glasses out. And my first question I'm, I really want to know is does this, will this connect by itself? So we want to find that out, right? So we want to find out if this is going to connect by itself. So I need my phone. I'm actually using my phone right now to record, which is kind of a problem. So we're going to just while I'm doing this, we're gonna take that phone out of here and we're going to get out of this app, okay? And I need to plug it in. So let's plug in the Red Magic Pro. 
or sorry, not Red Magic, the Red Ma Nubia Red Magic Dock. Oh, I see. So when it's in here, it's a little bit wobbly. So that's probably why they want you to put that on there because otherwise it just wiggles and wobbles, which can't be good for your port. So let's just really quickly take this and put it on then, this little rubber piece. Alrighty. Easy enough, right? All right, well, it's on, that was easy. All right, and now I imagine it'll sit here a little bit nicer. All right, there we go, yeah, that's a little better. A little more snug, I like that. Now we've got this in here, and we're going to put on our glasses and see what happens. So, let me get my glasses, put these on, take the covers off so I can see through. And, let's see, do we need any power? That's the first question, right? So I'm just gonna plug these in and see if anything happens. So let's see if anything happens. And something should have happened by now. So nothing is in fact happening. So that would tell me that we probably need power. So let's get some power for this. And I've got some right here, some USB-C power. And let's try plugging it in, see what happens. Okay, I plugged it in. We've got charging. And that's all I've got. It's just charging, nothing else. So let's try unplugging my glasses and plugging them back in. Okay, we'll plug those back in. Oh, there we go, connected to external display. There goes AR space coming back up. Okay, and I can go AR space. And it appears to be loading. Okay, I'm hearing the audio, that's cool. Okay, and it works. Very simply, just works. And that's what I hear about this, it just works. So this might be the best bet. And for the price, it's not bad, especially since you can get it now. Um, that's what I would do. I wouldn't mess with any of this other stuff, the other ones that I've got. I would just get these glasses, but yeah, that's actually working which is great. Now, my question is, one of the things that annoys me is sometimes when I put my Bluetooth headphones on, as you can see here, is I need to actually turn my, I need to pair my Bluetooth headphones or, or turn them on after the AR space starts up. Otherwise, I don't get the audio through them. And I use the AR space probably more than I just use the regular, um, the regular like desktop mode or decks or, or, you know, or whatever they call it, where you just mirror the screen. So, I'm curious, if I plug in headphones, will that automatically pass through the audio? So let me get my headphones, which are right over here, I believe. I have a pair of wired with a 2.5 millimeter plug. Okay. Let's plug these in and see if we get audio through here. Come on. Ugh, the only problem is with all these wires, you get, you get a rat's nest of wires. Okay, so now let's see, do I have my audio for this thing going through here? Oh yeah, all right, it's already going through my headphones. Now the question is if I turn this on, if I plug it in after, so let's plug it in after and see if I still have my audio. That's what I'm curious. Or will Unreal steal the audio again? Let's see if it works the same, okay. Got that plugged in. And, oh, allow Nebula to access USB audio. Okay, that's interesting. So I was saying, allow Nebula to access USB audio. So it's a prompt asking me that. I know it's hard to see from this direction, but I was using this one to record, which was a mistake. I should have used my other phone. But okay, I said yes to USB audio. So let's see if that automatically works here. AR space. Okay, now, so it does the exact same thing. Yeah, so I'm not getting, am I getting any audio now? That's weird. Let's see. Where's the audio coming from?
Oh yeah, it's it's coming from the headphones. So you gotta you whatever it is, even with the wired headphones, I still need to unplug and plug it back in, right? So there we go. Now the audio should come through the headphones, right? Yeah, so once you unplug it and plug it back in. All right. Okay, so I've had enough playing with that, so that's good. Okay. All right. So that's not so bad. So it works. It's simple. It's definitely simpler or more simple than the other devices. I kind of like that. And we are going to uh, I pretty much end this now, I think. But as you can see, that all that all works. I mean, you can see a big difference between these. And Nubia Red Magic Gaming Dock. J5 Create and this, but the big difference also is like you can see like this is this is definitely the heaviest, most chunky device. This is a little bit less, and this is average, obviously the lightest, most simple to use device. So I would definitely recommend this. It's cheaper than all of these too, but it wasn't available. I would have had to order it and wait potentially a month, which I guess isn't that big of a deal. But I, I generally don't order a lot of things off of AliExpress, so. There you go, whoops. There we go. All right, so what happens when you're actually doing an actual live, like not a live stream, but a live edit. So I'm trying something a little bit different. Normally I take all my different cameras in and then I edit it afterwards. I'm actually doing this live, so I don't really have to do much editing. I can just add my music and that'll be it. But yeah, I would, like I said, I'd recommend the Nubia Red Magic Gaming Dock easiest thing to do easiest thing to work now if you're curious about what's in here let me know if you want me to try to take this apart i would be willing to do it if there were enough people interested i don't have the biggest following so i don't know if there's enough people to twist my arm uh, i don't have any monetization on my channel i guess i could start a patreon or something if people want to donate to get me to take this you know if i don't know people just donate a buck i could take this apart i'd be willing to you know take the hit on it and take it apart but i don't make any money off of any of this stuff so um at least if i could cover my losses because i do like this i would like to use it if i take it apart i don't know how usable it's going to be and i don't see any screws or anything that would make it easily taken apart uh, at least make it easy to put it back together i don't think that would be but i am really curious about what hardware what circuit board is powering this because if we knew, maybe there's something else that would theoretically work. But yeah, there you go. Nubia, Red Magic, gaming dock. It works, it's simple, it's fairly cheap. It's what you should get if you wanna keep your Nreal glasses powered and your phone powered indefinitely. This is the way to go. So, this is Will Steel with All in VR. I'm All in VR, are you?